Hey, it's Des, and I'm going to be talking about what it's like having a chronic pain condition. Um, I'm 16, I should also throw that out. I'm a child with a chronic pain condition, and if you see my last video, yeah, it's in the same setup and the same exact shirt, and yeah, okay, I didn't feel like changing shirts or areas, so this is what you're going to get. Um, so I should probably preface this by saying that my childhood was filled with medical problems. I was always at the doctor's office anyway. Um, keep in mind, I'm a hypochondriac. Um, and so after going to the doctor very often, you know, once the doctor said, like, she's good, like, there's nothing wrong with her this time, like, she's not sick this time, like, she's good, like, she's healthy now. I was like okay i'm i'm good now i'm good and when i say health problems i mean i used to have really bad asthma as a kid i it's it's just like a lot um i used i used to it's just i used to always be sick somehow um but yeah so after the doctor was like she's healthy like she's not sick this time there's nothing wrong this time so she should be good um so because I was a hypochondriac, I, you know, and there has been multiple times in which I was like, hey, doctor, I think this is wrong with me. And the doctor would be like, okay, that's not what's wrong with you. So like, okay. Um, so I just learned to, when I felt that there was something wrong, I just learned to kind of almost brush it off um, because I was like, I'm a hypochondriac. I'm probably over exaggerating. And the only time I only really like said something is if I was like, as if it was like obvious that there was something wrong like if I cut myself okay that's clear or if I was like throwing up okay it's clear that I'm sick you know but if it was just like oh I feel a slight pain in my elbow once upon a time then it's like okay there's probably nothing wrong so fast forward a couple years this whole time I have been experiencing um pain and I just brushed it off as I'm hypochondriac I'm probably over exaggerating like I'm fine um and so I just didn't say anything and over time I started started to get I mean because I started to get worse but I started to notice it more um and I would talk to my friends about it and this year is when I really talked to my friends about it and they were like go to the doctor um <laughs> I'd be like, yeah, you know, I'm in pain and blah, 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 and that doesn't happen to y'all. And they're like, no, no, go to the doctor. And so I went to the doctor um, because, I don't know, I, I really was sick of it, um, especially after talking to my friends and them being like, this isn't normal, go to the doctor. I, I've decided that I don't, I don't want to live in pain anymore and I'm sick of it. And so I told my mom and I went to the doctor and the doctor did an examination and she was like we don't know but once we do know we will let you know and yesterday my mom got a call from the doctor's office and basically they were like she has this chronic pain condition um and i said in my last video that it's a very specific chronic pain condition that is kind of personal so i'm probably not going to mention exactly what it is just know that it's chronic pain basically that's what it is how I mean I my life hasn't changed that much except for the fact that the the diet has has changed and that has affected my mood greatly but it's only been one day so I'm pretty sure like I'll get over it I'm glad that at least I know what is wrong now and it's not like I can't like to know that this pain is real and I'm not just being over it, like that I'm not just being over dramatic it's validating um because I spend a lot of my life being like feeling unvalidated because you know every time I thought there was something wrong well not every time I thought there was something wrong but sometimes I would think there's something wrong and there's nothing wrong and then I feel like it's stupid um you know so my life hasn't really changed that much but now that I'm aware and I feel validated in what I have been going through it, it does feel good to some extent 
I know this is probably gonna affect my life more in the future than it is like now but um I mean it's not well I wouldn't classify it as anything like extreme like I can I mean you know it's not like I have you know I don't know it's like I can still do things and like go throughout my daily life and I don't know if it's because I'm just used to being in pain but I just don't think it's a like debilitating um, condition like it's not like I'm going to like not be able to get out of bed one day because I'm in so much pain like that's never happened before I usually um some times and some days are worse than others and I usually just suck it up um I, I guess what I'm going to say in like the preface of this video and like the what I'm the lesson that's what the lesson of this video is if you feel like there is something wrong and especially if you felt like there's something wrong for years of your life let someone know go to the doctor and even if it is nothing like you're wrong it was nothing but it's better to be safe than sorry because you won't have to be like me and live years of your life in pain when I potentially didn't have to. And so, uh, even if you are happy to let let your doctor know. Inform someone because there actually could be something wrong. And, you know, you never know. So that is my experience with living um, with a chronic pain condition. If you... Uh... I don't know, it feels weird to say if you like this video, but like, if you can relate to this video, click the thumbs up button and leave a comment down below explaining your experience with, it doesn't have to be chronic pain, but your experience with any condition and or disability and or sickness or illness that you um, have had or still maybe have and maybe we can all like support each other. That's all I really have to say I mean I don't know I feel like someone clicked this video expecting that I was going to talk about how different my life is and like how it's so like how I live my life so differently my life is so hard but that's not I mean I don't know maybe because my whole life I've just had medical problems rather I don't know I was con I'm I still am like constantly hurting myself somehow um <laughs> So like even as a kid when, you know, with my asthma and, you know, I was very clumsy and I still am so I fell a lot so I always had like a cut or something or, you know, as I got a little older I was always like falling because I'm super clumsy. Like there was times where I really really hurt my knee really bad and I had to be on crutches and or I had the time I got stitches or, you know. The time I had to wear two wrist brace to school for about a month because I messed up and hurt both of my wrists at the same time somehow or the time you know there's always something there was always something or the time I got bronchitis in fourth grade or the time I had a sinus infection which is like every year um, for me honestly I, I don't know maybe my immune system just like is lazy like I don't know but I've always had some health thing one way or another rather it's the time where I was a borderline diabetic which means that I was almost diabetic but not a I dodged the bullet though a um yeah so maybe I don't I don't know I maybe the or the time I sprained my ankle <laughs> um or you know the time where I used to punch myself in the face in my sleep or suffocate myself in my sleep I this isn't normal. <laughs> I just had a revela revelation that I wasn't okay. <laughs> like, I was always hurting myself somehow. By the time I got a black eye from running into that wall or running to another wall or falling down a stadium of uh, bleachers. Not completely off, but like from the top to like the bottom, but not off. But the time that happened, or uh, the time I, or the a million times I fell downstairs, or fell upstairs, or, huh. Looking back, I wasn't okay. Anyway, that's my experience with chronic pain. 
with a chronic pain condition as a young 16 year old like teenager it's like so cool like <laughs> just like girly things like relatable <laughs> um yeah but yeah i should also probably mention as i'm talking about medical problems i have a cyst in my wrist i usually am wearing a brace i'm just not for this video because i don't want people to see me wearing a brace and go oh my gosh what's wrong with her a lot um yeah, so I have to get surgery on my wrist. That's also cool. It's something. Um, I'll let you know how it goes when it happens. Um, that's my life. Hey, how you doing? Well, I'm doing just fine. I lied. I'm dying inside.